All right, welcome back everybody. Time right now is 615 on this very, very cold Saturday afternoon that we have out there. It's been a lot of active weather over the past 24 hours. We had all that heavy rain that moved in last night with some occasional rumbles of thunder. Thankfully, no severe weather, but after that this morning, it just got exceptionally cold out there. The clouds cleared out and the sunshine is out just in time for the sunset. But again, cold and windy has been the name of the game all day long. 36 in Greenville now 32 already at freezing in Spartanburg. That's before the sun sets 36 in Lawrence and 24 in Asheville. Huge change compared to uh, just 24 hours ago. We're down 35 to 40 degrees compared to this time yesterday up towards Asheville and Hendersonville. Most of the upstates running around 20 to 25 degrees colder than this time yesterday. And again, Mitch, talking about that wind, you know, the peak wind gusts today were pretty uh, noteworthy. You know, we had 40, 45 mile per hour gusts up towards Asheville, topped out at 47 there at the Asheville Airport. Upstate still very windy, albeit not as severe. 36 miles per hour with the peak gusts in Walhalla and Clemson, 26 miles per hour in Greenville. It's not as strong right now. Those wind speeds are still there out of the northwest, coming in at 15 to 17 miles per hour across most of the upstate, 25 miles per hour hour up in the mountains and they will gradually relax overnight tonight, but it is going to stay cold. The wind chill right now is in the single digits and teens up towards uh, Asheville and Hendersonville and into the 20s across most of the upstate. It's going to be cold with the actual temperatures tonight, but just a little bit breezy, not as uh, wild as the winds we saw earlier today. Good news is live Super Doppler 4 HD is nice and dry. It will stay that way for the remainder of the weekend as that area of high pressure settles over the area, as does the colder air. So uh, all across the deep south, those temperatures are really being felt even as far south as Jacksonville, where the players uh, golf tournament is happening now in Jacksonville. Uh, that's airing now and or, or it was airing earlier this afternoon on NBC. They're still feeling temperatures in the 50s even that far south, so uh, hard to escape it on the East Coast this weekend. So let's take you through the next 48 hours overnight tonight. Just going to be really cold and we will spring forward by one hour. Keep that in mind. Daylight saving time begins tonight at 1 59 AM and that means the sunrise will be a little bit later around 735 in the morning. Uh, the sunshine will stay out the rest of the afternoon and the winds won't be quite as strong and because they'll be coming out of the southwest, it will be a little bit warmer, so we'll top out in those middle 50s for tomorrow afternoon and then still be cold tomorrow night, but most spots in the upstate will probably stay above freezing. The warming trend continues heading into Monday and the sunshine continues, so we'll get up into the 60s, I think, by uh, Monday afternoon. So there is some improvements in the forecast once we get past uh, late tonight. So the clouds will be building in Tuesday, looking to uh, ahead to next week. Uh, the wet weather will be coming back by Wednesday. That's when our next best chance of scattered showers will be. Uh, looks like we'll be on the northwest side of the low, so it's not really looking likely that we see any heavy rain or thunderstorms. Just some light showers, and that should be about it, but that will continue into Thursday as well, with more showers possible heading into Thursday morning. Recapping the forecast. So for tonight, it will be severely cold. If you're heading out, you're going to need multiple layers. And again, keep in mind, we spring forward by one hour at 1.59 a.m. with those teens in the middle 20, uh, excuse me, middle teens up in the mountains down to 14 in Asheville, 16 in Hendersonville. This is what the temperatures should look like just before sunrise tomorrow. 23 your low tonight in Greenville and 20 in Spartanburg. Tomorrow the forecast improves. Lots of sunshine, not as windy and still a little bit on the chilly side out there with highs in the upper 40s to middle 50s. So let's get a look at the next four days. It looks like this a lot of sunshine for both today, or excuse me, for tomorrow and for Monday. The clouds will be increasing. Tuesday with some light rain on the way Wednesday and then for St. Patrick's Day on Thursday. We've got a few showers possible, but that uh, chance of rain at around 30%. That'll be the trend continuing in Friday and Saturday as well. Uh, same story up in the mountains, improving temperatures and wet weather for most of the second half of the upcoming week.